I go to a lot of violent crime meetings. The recurring theme at every one of those meetings is the real-time crime center did this. The real-time crime center did that. We used to do surgery with a machete. We now have the ability to do surgery with a scalpel. Real-time policing is the future of public safety, and at the heart of that are real-time crime centers. Using a suite of the latest policing technology, RTCCs are a place for collaborative, strategic, and immediate law enforcement response to emergency incidents and complex crime scenes. We've had a crime center officially since 2015. I like to use the word partner when I want to talk about real-time crime center. We are fighting crime in partnership with the citizens of Fort Worth. The citizens of Fort Worth have said that they don't want crime in their environment, and we're here to help them with that. As far as force multiplication goes, we can never take over for the boots on the ground. What we can do is we can enhance that. So instead of having one officer drive the neighborhood looking for a suspect, instead of someone sitting in a car trying to research the license plate that was provided, we can do that for them. The more information we have, the more intelligence we can feed to the officers out there in the field, creating that safer environment. If we had a call that somebody was waving a gun around at a convenience store, we have the ability with technology to hopefully try to identify who that individual is, see what they're doing, and be able to give the officers responding the intelligence that they need to be able to respond safer. That creates a safer environment for them, a safer environment for the community, and a safer environment for the officers. That's probably one of our most important roles that we play here, officer safety. They've even said how safe that they feel that they know that we're watching them. We also encourage a lot of our FTOs to bring the rookies down to real-time crime centers so they can see exactly what we're able to do. And that's what I like about what we have so far. Everything that we have is an easy tool to use. We take civil liberties very, very important. Whether it's gunshot detection, the cameras, the ALPR, every piece of technology in our department, we have policies in place. And then we audit those and make sure that those policies are followed. Our cameras that we put out in our city, we only retain that information for five days. ALPR, we keep our data for 30 days. I believe that use of technology is policing of the future and that it is the direction that all policing is going to eventually go. Technology is not cheap. But whenever you start balancing it out and looking at the big picture of officer efficiency, officer safety, citizen safety, that money spent is very well spent. It's a game changer for policing. So anybody that wants to start a real-time crime center, the biggest piece of advice I can have you is start a real-time crime center.